Hi, welcome back to my channel. Harriet here. Yeah, we are um, going to look at the topic mistakes people make while dating. I have my friend again here, Richard, and a new friend of ours. Uh, she can introduce herself and then we continue. Hello, viewers. My name is Tracy Nagasha. I am a fourth year law student. I just completed at Uganda Christian University and I am happy to be here. You're welcome. You're welcome, Tracy. We are glad you are here. Richard, so to I am glad to be hosted for my second time. Yes, and actually Richard has a YouTube channel as well. Please check it out. It's called Apt Inspirational. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Apt Inspirational. Yeah. Mm. So friends, we are going to discuss this topic. Please pay attention. If you are single, if you are dating, please pay attention so you don't make these mistakes. Right? Yeah, so let's get into it. Ladies first. What are some of the mistakes ladies make, or generally anyone, you know, when they are dating? Um, after thinking about it for a while, I yeah. realized that the biggest, most important mistake made while dating is entering or starting a relationship without good approval. Wow, yeah. Nice. Um, I was recently watching a video on YouTube. Mm. By Pastor Tim Wendy, the Kenyan pastor, okay. and, what, and he was talking about relationships. And he says the first thing people think about when they enter into a relationship is when you're going on a date, the man will bring the wallet and the woman will bring the body. So it's an exchange of wallet. Yeah, Lord. However, if a relationship is having its foundation, yes. yeah, you get the guiding your spirit mm -hmm. and if they do not smile then you know i am not supposed to be with this person yes. well, maybe because they are not a christian mm -hmm. and you are all a christian mm -hmm. the bible says that you should not be an interest to yes. so if you're coming on a date and uh, the man or woman you read is maybe someone who has not accepted christ that relationship is going to fail yeah. yes because while you're going for overnight this one is going for Mm -hmm. mm. Well, your intent on first vision is like, let me take you out on a date. Yeah. That is the very first and most important mistake. Because God is the author of us all. Yeah. He's the alpha and the omega. He knows how that relationship should be started, how it will go on, and where it is going to end. Yes. How it's going to end into marriage. Do you realize this person first? So maybe four years will be dating. Yet he would have shown you exactly who that person is. The very first moment to get to mm. that is the one mistake. Wow, that's yes. interesting. Yeah? Well, I like that we started with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because God is the author of marriage, and so we should get into relationships looking at marriage, not just for the sake. I like that. That's a good foundation for a relationship, indeed. Oh, yeah. The next that I would maybe think about is the intention. Yes. Mm. Um, being someone who started my relationship as soon as I started. I would say I was in need to maybe because I liked the person. Mm -hmm. However, when you get into a group of girls or even men, yeah. about them, right? <laughs> you find someone is dating because my friends all have both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the intention is very important. Mm. Are you intent on finding someone who is going to better you? Thank you. Yeah. Are you intent on finding someone who is going somewhere, mm. not someone who is wanted to be, someone yeah. who has a car, someone oh, yeah. who can provide a lavish lifestyle for you. Yeah? Because the person I was dating was very intentional, growing me. Wow. He would ask me, just have you watched the news today because I'm doing love. It is important that I stay updated. Wow. He would ask me, have you read this book? And he was someone who was very intent on me growing, even That's spiritually, nice. because I had not given my life to Christ. Because okay. he like, let's go for this overnight, mm -hmm. come we'll go for this, come we'll go for this, come we'll go for this. So, intention, are you intentional about what you're doing? Yes. Yeah? Because if you do it just for the sake. because you don't mm -hmm. want to be alone, mm -hmm. just because mm -hmm. your friends have pushed you there, yeah. it is really, really just going to go well. Yeah. Wow. So moving on to my third point, I think... The other one would be the advice on the role models for the relationship. Mm. Because when you are in a relationship, being it, if you are intentional, you need to get advice from, uh, should I say, a solid relationship. Oh, yes. Because what people mm. normally do is they ask their single friends. 
Yes. And, right. a, and a single friend will give advice from a single perspective. Uh, yes, single perspective. no experience, nothing. Yes. Mm. However, when you are in a relationship, every decision you make, you make it, you put into consideration your partner. Mm. So you are getting the advice from someone in a solid relationship. However, when you get the advice, don't take it as it is. Yes. Consider it and then put in the circumstances you're in mm. and your partner. Yeah, see so if yes. it will work for you. Yes, mm-hmm. the advice that you get. Yes. Let it be just that advice to help you make your own decision that yes. fits into your relationship. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes, <laughs> advice and maybe the role models for the relationship. Oh, wow. yes, uh, more like accountability partners. Thank you. Do not get Thank accountability you. partners who are actually even age mates or who are not in a relationship or they are, I don't know, I think it's better to get someone who is already somewhere. Maybe a married yeah. couple or something, accountability partners. So, yeah. mm. lack of accountability partners is a mistake. People make while dating. And you that, need mm. that should also uh, uh, keep on the point where you are intentional. Because if you're not yes. intentional yes. and yes. you get yes. solid advice, it will not help. You. Yeah, true. true. Because like, your intention is maybe I need for fun. Yeah. It's, temp- it's temporary. Yeah. yeah, it's not permanent. So intention mm. is key. Yeah, that's wow. a good one. Wow. Yeah, this is a point I have. <laughs> for the people wow. viewing, so yeah, that's very interesting, mm-hmm. and and I like the fact that the most in the points that she has made, mm-hmm. I think I like most the first one and yes. the last one uh, about about uh, about the role models, yes, and then also the God being the author of that relationship, yes. because in the first principle of relating, mm-hmm. where we know that this the intention must be marriage, yeah. He's yeah. the author of marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's the author of all relationships. Because that's the first relationship that happened between mm-hmm. him and mankind. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, if he's not the author of that relationship, I think that is a mistake that you're doing. Because when, at the end of the day, you know there are people that you've meet, you meet, you, the, the, there are people that you meet while they are crying, and you ask them, what happened? And they will tell you, yeah, I did this, and I left God behind. But now I'm crying to him. Like they already understand where they went from. Yeah. So I think that is a very powerful point that mm. that Tracy. Mentioned. So what we're trying to say is, even if you did not involve God at the beginning, but you're in a relationship, it's not too late. You can still ask God to be at the center of that relationship, yeah. so that you you make the wrong right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think just add on that because uh, every every relationship is not. Yes. You could be having good times and then bad times. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. However, you need to include God in all those moments. The guy yes. in each and every Yeah, in, in the intention. You could be like, uh uh-uh, I'm done with this relationship. But God will tell you, hold on, maybe there is something you need to learn from this person. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Wow. Nice. Wow, that is very interesting. Well, another point that I, I think is vital to add on her list, because I agree with everything that she said is that um, people dive into relationships and they dive in the whole of them. Yeah, mm. I'm not saying they give part of it, but I think people should remember that when you're dating, you're not married. Thank you. You understand? Mm. You know, we get most, most times, because I'm speaking for my generation, I'm going to say we. Yes. We get into relationships and we are all in. Mm. You understand? Yeah. You're sharing finances. Yeah. Uh, you're sharing almost everything. The yeah. guy is doing you're chores. Already, you're, already, you're already coming to do chores at his place. Uh, he, the guy, you've already taken her to your home. Everyone knows her. But you're dating. Mm. You understand? Mm. So at the end of the day, like Tracy said, if God says no, this is not the right person, or it has not, you, you understand? If, it if there's work, a stop yeah. to it, you're going to feel so much pain, mm. yeah? And mm. it will leave you in depression and all other bad things that could happen to your life. So I think that is also another mistake that we do mm. while dating. Now, going to that mistake, talking about that mistake, if you are all in, like if a guy is getting all the wifey benefits, he will not think about marrying you because you're giving him all the benefits. Every mm. weekend you're going there to do chores, wash clothes, organize, clean the house. He might not think about committing into marriage because he's getting all he would need, you know. So talking about getting into a relationship, the whole of you, 100%, I think it's better not to really go there like, uh, yes, commit to one person, uh, be in a relationship with one person, commit Mm. to them and all, be intentional and all, Mm. but do not do some things. Do not leave a boundary 
that you should not, uh, there's a boundary you should not exceed. Leave it for the married time. Mm. Yeah. So, so generally we should understand the level that we are at. If yes. it is dating, if you're mm. relating, if you're engaged, until you marry, like, be in that level and fit in, but don't go beyond, don't yes. go to the extreme. Yeah. Like, like, don't go at the end, don't go ahead of yourself, mm. if I could say. Yeah. You said sharing uh, finances. finances. Find a lady is always asking the boyfriend for money, for transport, for hair, for what? He's not your husband yet. You'll feel burdened, you'll, you'll be like a burden to him, you'll think you're even a gold digger. But, so if you're not yet his wife, let it be upon him to give you some money, to give you transport money, to just gift you, but do not be the one asking and asking and asking. You're not his responsibility yet. I just want to blow a whistle. Uh, <laughs> you know, most times uh, you will find ladies say, no, I'm not yet your wife, so I'm not going to do wife stuff for you. Yeah, I'm not going to wash for you, I'm not going to do this, this, and this. And then you find this same lady say, you're not giving me money for hair, you're not taking care of me, but this is husband stuff. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So I just thought to blow that whistle off. Mm. If you're saying you can't do wife stuff, then don't expect husband stuff. Oh, thank you. You understand? That's a good balance. Yes, that's that's a, a that, balance. that one strikes a balance. There. Ah. I just thought I should say that. Yes, yes. Mm. That's a good balance. Um, just a good balance. There mm. is a topic that our generation tends to just skip over and mm. take over, mm. and that is the topic of sex. Yes. Mm. Talking about going all in into a relationship mm. and giving your whole including your body, mm, mm, yeah, mm. just putting your needs, um, put your needs, but His maybe needs. your goal, mm, mm. your values, yeah, maybe you're a exactly. Christian lady mm, and then you get mm, into a relationship and the man is demanding for sex and you just give it. you, and mm. because you really love this person, you put that aside, yeah, yes, yeah, it you know what your values, the Bible that it is better to marry than to burn with desire. Yes. Mm. So you respectfully tell this person, as a Christian, mm -hmm. I am not going into the sex aspect. Yes. And if you really respect that, mm. he will put a stop to all his demands. Mm. So yes, it is really important not to go all in into a relationship. Yes. Mm. Because this is a process. You are learning the person. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Don't just give it all in. Yes, yes, there should be boundaries. Mm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think, I think, also to boost the same point, we're on a different point right now. Yeah, it's somehow we are agreeing, it's we are not, deal. we are not yet saying no, no, no. So, <laughs> so I think what she's saying, I just want to know that I've gotten what you're saying right, is that um, don't lower your standards just because you want to be accepted by this person. Mm -hmm. You're scared of yeah. being dumped. And I think, yeah, most of us do that. You feel like this guy is nice, this, nice, this guy is cool, and then you forget about yourself. Yeah. yeah. yeah? And, 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 and I think that is also something really bad. That's actually, it's a mistake. I I, actually that's mistake. what causes people to really get into depression because they feel like they have given it their all uh -huh. and then this person way. doesn't even care. Yeah, bad yeah. breakups are normally so, because of such reasons. Exactly. Like you feel you have a lot to lose yes. just because you went in a hundred percent full fault. Mm. Yeah. And I know there is an argument that will come up and say, but what if I love this person? <laughs> and, 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 and you know there's that argument, it is right there, someone will tell you, me I love them, that's why I'm doing all this. <laughs> so now, a question to Tracy and Harriet, is that love? Love is an interesting own. topic. <laughs> yeah, someone will tell you I'm being this selfless mm. and dropping all my values and all that I am I love to this person because I love them. All right. uh, the greatest definition of love is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, there are so many teachings in the Bible that do tell you what you should do or do not do. Mm -hmm. If you know that Jesus is the greatest symbol of love, mm -hmm. and this person who really, really loves you is giving you instructions, telling you you might give yourself outside the topic of marriage, outside mm -hmm. the marriage bed, you not. Know, Give yourself to any other man. Mm. So not to give yourself to, to your, your husband. husband. Mm. Thank you. Yes. Is that really love? If the person who loves you the most in the whole world, mm. yeah, and even other ones that you may not know about, is telling you do not do this. Mm. Mm. Keeping in mind is the offer on the man. He knows the beginning. Yes. Maybe he knows. If you give this man your body, it's going to end in tears. Yeah, it's going to end in tears. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. This one's going to end well. He oh, yeah. will now this one's done with her. Yeah, oh, yeah. He won't value you as much as yeah. if you keep Or maybe yourself. he will stay and you keep asking and asking. Even when maybe you don't want even maybe when you want to take the path of the different. Mm. So that is not love. Mm. Mm. It's last. It's last year. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Thank you for yeah. bringing in the last part. Uh people people mistake love for lust for infatuation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So defining love, the basis is God. His word. Yeah. So really, for you to understand that you love someone, for you to, to, to want to know if you love someone by doing that, like sex is not equal to love. Mm. Sex does not measure love. So obey to the authority of God and his word for you to be able to know what you should do. If God God's word tells you do not do this and this person is pressurizing you into doing this, God loves you more than this person. Mm. So understanding what love is from the perspective of God and the word, we just help you to, to just know this. Wow. So I, I also I thought of something that uh, is a mistake to people who I who are dating. I know we talked about finances. Yeah. But now you, it's, this is not finances. It's more of material things. Now I'm looking at a level of oh, people yeah. who are dating. They are not in school. They are not in high school. These people are dating. Let's say maybe they are both like working, working class. class. You understand? Mm. Yeah. And they go to a level of you're going to buy a piece of land and then they buy it together. together. You understand? They go to buy a car and they buy it together. Like you're a lawyer, right? <laughs> and there's no legal, uh, what should I call it? There's, a, there's, there's no legal Backup. binding hey. between both of them that, you know, we are one or something like that. So I think also that is a mistake. It is. And a very big mistake because mm. I, have, I have had some friends who have gone through that and it was really bad. Yeah. Someone can change so, their mind if exactly, they're not yet married. Exactly. They can change their mind. So if you're buying your asset, buy it in your names. Yes. Until you get married, that can always be changed, right? Yes. Yeah. True. I agree. Yes. And then the other point for my boys, for my guys. <laughs> you're taking this girl out. She's very beautiful. And the impression you're giving her is very different from what Richard is. Yeah. So every time I'm showing up at your place, man, I bring cafe javas, I've come cruising in a car, I'm looking so good, I'm smelling so nice, and you have an impression of, man, this guy must be rich, mm. yeah. Every bank account. And man, when I go back home, I pass by a boutique, put back the clothes I had hired them, <laughs> then pass OMG. by a, a, a bond, I pack the car, pay nice. for all that, and then wow. when I go back, I'm staying in my muzigo. Wow. Yeah, on a single bed actually. You understand? So for my guys out there, don't try to impress this person. Okay, you can impress them in a way that you, they will understand. Mm. Maybe buy them what you can afford, like yes. what you can afford. Mm. Yeah. Be you. Be yourself. You know? Because when you give this person an impression, they have every right to look at you in that way because that's what you've presented yourself yes. as. Yes. So, I feel that is also a biggest mistake and the same applies to the ladies mm. by the way because even mm. ladies can really put on <laughs> and you're like I can't I can't I can't go with this lady she's a class above me mm. and yet in actual sense this person is you know <laughs> sorry to say but you're the same class you understand <laughs> but the way they have put on you end up giving up on them yes, you understand yes, yes. so I think trying to make an impression way beyond yes. the level you're at mm, is, is, a, is a big mistake you will lose this person actually when you would have been the right person for them mm. and the other person can also lose you by them you know putting themselves in a very high mm. class mm. uh just a point to note i'm not saying go when you're shabby yeah <laughs> i'm not saying go when you're looking anyhow you know be yourself yeah mm. i think that the, the the ceiling point is be yourself yes yeah yes. Mm. Just to add on to that, I think this point also goes back to the intention. Mm. Are, you de are you dating or are you in the relationship with someone to impress you? Mm. Mm. Because like I said on earlier, some very many ladies get into relationships because they need someone to sustain them. Mm. While maybe at they are looking for help. Life, I wish mm. they were looking for someone <laughs> to marry them. Mm. And not to sustain. Yeah, yeah that's a most, wrong intention. I think mostly at campus, even when you're outside there for jobs and all that, you have rent, money, you have your own needs. Yeah? Yes. Those are some of the challenges that uh, mm. many people face. So, 
of course you put your standards there i want a man who drives i want someone who can pay my rent or take me out anytime i want and that's when the guy who knows the kind of things you like will start trying to act like them yeah so it goes yeah. back to still intention mm-hmm. are you dating for the money are you dating for the money? or do you genuinely like them and you want them to see who you really are without the car without yeah. the devil without all that money yes. yeah And I think another point to add on to the mistakes we see the habit of checking each other's phone. And this may <clears> stem <throat> from insecurity. Yeah, yes? yeah, yeah. You don't know what the other person is doing because social media is... Uh, I don't even know how to tell <laughs> it. Like, It's like a lie. Yeah. There are all these very many beautiful men, all these very many handsome men out there and you are comparing your partner. Mm. And one day you just slide into the DM and maybe as many people say women have a hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very true. Oh, yeah. We do have a hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The attention starts reducing. Why can't you do this like this person? Why can't yeah. you maybe do this? Mm. And then you take the other person's phone. Yet instead you should really be secure in who you are. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And proper for your partner because uh, there are very many people out there looking. Because we've all had of the concept of you're not really wanted and think it's okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Single, no one is Just like people don't you, realize what they... Uh, people don't realize what they, what have, they have until they lose it. Oh, yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Now, talking about phones, honestly, when you're still dating and you're checking each other's phones, it's not right at all. Just leave. If you choose to love the, the, the person, choose to be in a relationship with them, then learn to trust them. It would be okay since I'm married if I check my husband's phone for anything it would be okay I'm sure he might be okay with it more than if we are still dating because now we are one we know a lot about each other we know each other's friends and all he might be cool with it but if you're dating and you're checking each other's phones oh my god insecurity of the highest order wow then uh there's something she mentioned about uh the intention connecting it to uh, a gentleman or a lady trying to impress the other person yeah. i want to come from the perspective of uh, that usually they are also i want to, re- to to include the people who are also genuinely loving this person yes but in them they, they really feel they can't go when i have not shown some impression i i want to speak to that uh to those people who are out there yes you genuinely love the person your intentions are not bad mm. but you really want to make an impression it is not bad to make an impression but hear this because when you go when you are a different richard she's going to fall in love with a different richard yes and that's not that's what true. you want mm. but when you go when you're yourself she will fall in love with that very person and that's what you want mm. so that when you grow she will still be in love with you and when you yes. are down she's mm-hmm. still in love with you That's so yeah <laughs> mm. the other thing because of too many and high expectations some people end up missing the right person so expectations of you and look a nice guy he's treating you well he's well behaved he has good morals yeah he has good circles you know friend circles because i mean uh, our circles tell a lot about who we are Yeah. So you and look this person because they are not in the place you want them to be. They've not yet got there. They are not there yet. Mm. You and look them and end up missing them. So what am I saying? The other mistake most ladies actually since you know. Yeah, it's it's natural in us. Sometimes we want we have those expectations yeah. we want this kind of guy he has this he works here he he looks like this but be careful not to miss the right person because you do not know what the future holds. You do not know where he's going to be 2 years 5 years from now. So please do not underlook someone and that they are nice they treat you well wow. or someone else mm. who has all you want they've got it all figured out you never know please do not miss someone for you mm-hmm. just to add to that i think ladies we have like a list you have a checklist <laughs> yeah, <you> know, <laughs> oh yeah the man one yeah. i like the beard oh, part oh, yeah. i love the beard. <laughs> beard you must be like this you mm. must be like this but Are you like that list? Wow. Oh, yeah. If someone is willing to accept you the way you are, mm. yes, you should also have it in your heart to accept people the way they come. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. these are God's children. Mm-hmm. You created this one and said, maybe a beard will come at a later stage. Yes. You created this one and maybe they are naming. You said maybe... your hair will go at this stage. Yes, <laughs> maybe <laughs> they are not making <laughs> for yourself, Richard. <laughs> yeah. So accepting oh, people as they come yeah. is really important. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, because someone is not talking to you the way you are. Yeah, with your flaws, with your weaknesses, and your strengths. True. Mm-hmm. Sure. Wow, interesting. So, friends, there you have it. If you have any, if you know of any other mistakes that people make while dating, please put them in a comment section below. We want to learn from one another and help one another grow and have thriving relationships, meaningful relationships that are really intentional and focused on marriage, which should be really the ideal thing at the end of the day for someone to be in a relationship. You now know the mistakes you shouldn't make. For those who are not yet in a relationship, you still know the mistakes you shouldn't make once you enter a relationship. Please let us know of any other mistakes you know in the comment section below so that we learn from one another and make and thrive to better our relationships. And of course, the intent of marriage should be in question. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next videos.